Hi everyone, a very warm good morning. Today we are going to see about muscular system in human body. In last class we have seen skeletal system. I hope you people remember skeletal system is made up of bones. All the bones join to form skeleton. Isn't it? And how many bones are there? 206 bones. And all these bones are connected with each other. And there are different types of bones. There is different namings are there. If it is present in our head and it protects the brain, that is called skull. The bone which protect our lungs and heart, that is rib cage. The bone which is present in our hands. The upper arm is humerus. In lower arm, we are having radius and ulna. And hip region, pelvic. And we have seen the longest bone and the smallest bone. The longest bone is femur which is present in our thighs. And the smallest bone is stirrup bone which is present in our ears. Isn't it? Now we are going to see about muscular system. What do you mean by muscle? What do you mean by muscle? A muscle is a nothing but a group bundle of tissue. Muscle is nothing but a bundle of tissue. What do you mean by tissue? Group of cells join to form tissue. Like that bundle of tissue is called as muscle. It helps in the movement. How it helps in the movement? Because it is attached with the bones. That is it is attached with the skeletal system. So it helps in the movement of our body. Over 600 muscles are present in our body. It is not exactly 600, over 600. That is more than 600 muscles are present in our body which helps in the movement. And attached to the bones of skeletal systems are called tendons. I told that muscles are attached to the bones. How it is attached? The muscle. In last class itself we have seen tendons, cartilage, ligaments. So muscle bone attraction, the joint between the muscle and bone. That attachment is called what? By tendons. So the muscles are attached with the bones. Muscles are attached with the bones by a, uh, lig by a term called tendons. Okay. There are three types of muscles. There are three types of muscles. Skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, smooth muscle. Skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, smooth muscle. Skeletal muscle meaning the muscles which are present around the bones. Cardiac muscles means the muscles which is present in our heart. The heart is made up of muscles but what muscle? Cardiac muscle. Smooth muscles are very soft and they are present in our abdomen region. Abdomen, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and all made up of smooth muscles. So there are three types of muscles. Skeletal muscles meaning muscles which is present around the bone. Cardiac muscle is nothing but heart muscle. Smooth muscle example stomach. Okay. Functions. It helps in the movement of our body. That is, if you want to take, if you want to lift any item, if you want to lift a book from the ground, what we are doing? We are just, uh, our muscles are contracting and relaxing. For example, imagine you are combing your hair. You are combing your hair. For that, what you will do? What you are doing? You have to contract the muscles because you have to bring your hand near to your Hair to comb, isn't it? So what happened? The muscles are contracting. Okay. And then if you want to keep your uh, uh, hands down, what you are doing? You have to relax your hand down. So that is relaxation of muscles. So movement, how it is takes place? By the contraction and relaxation. We are closing our hand and we are opening our hand. That is called contraction and relaxation. Maintenance of posture. That is how we have to sit, how we are standing. That is called posture. So that is also made up of what? Muscles. We are bending. If you want to touch your uh, uh, leg, what you have to do? You have to bend. Isn't it? That is also what? Because of muscle. Okay. So maintenance of posture. It protects the bones and internal organs too. Yes. Because uh, muscles uh, surrounds the bones. That is called skeletal muscle. 
and internal organs heart lungs the heart are all made up of cardiac muscles so it protects both as bones as well as the internal organs okay so i hope i have given i have given some small introduction of muscular system okay go through the video again and do the worksheet as well as you have to remember the skeletal system also okay try to watch both videos because it was given in the previous class itself so skeletal muscle video sorry skeletal system as well as muscular system in next class we have seen some other new system which is happening in our body okay thank you